The house of Fulani and the Yoruba declared war on the Igbo and their brothers in the eastern region for one reason and one reason alone. To steal the petroleum and natural gas and the billions of dollars of oil money that was in the east. That was, that has been, and that will continue to be the only reason they declared war on us. Never believe any fool who tells you it was for the so-called One Nigeria. As the Nigeria Biafra War was still in progress, Yakubu Gowan, House of Fulani, in 1969, unilaterally and without consulting the owners of the land and petroleum resources, passed a decree called the Petroleum Resources Decree in 1969. By this decree, the House of Fulani Yoruba Federal Government of Nigeria seized the petroleum in eastern region and assumed ownership and control of all the petroleum in, under, or upon the land, territorial waters, and continental shelf of Nigeria. This military decree effectively stripped the people of eastern region of their right to private ownership of the petroleum in their own private lands and put it in the hands of the House of Lani Yoruba generals and oligarchs. Then, for the first time, Yakubu go and pegged the derivation principle at 45%. The slide has started. In 1978, Olushegu Obasanjo area boy, Yoruba, not satisfied with taking just the petroleum in the people's land, again by military decree, enacted the Land Use Decree Number 6, 1978. This decree vested all land in the state in the office of the military governor of the state. The military governors were appointed by the military dictator of Basanjo. By this singular act, the House of Fulani Yoruba Military Government of Nigeria destroyed the customary land tenure system in eastern region of Nigeria, destroyed the age-old tradition and custom of private ownership of land and other property in eastern region of Nigeria, and rendered the people of eastern region of Nigeria a landless, propertyless people. The land use decree was not a problem for the House of Lania and Yoruba because that is a land tenure system, the feudal system that they have operated for hundreds of years. So, everyone knows why the House of Lani Yoruba seized the ancestral land belonging to the people of Eastern region, Niger Delta, Biafra. Yakubu Gowan knows that he was lying like a Satan himself when he told you that it was, quote, to keep Nigeria warm. Nonsense. Area boy or Basanjo lied that it was to promote agricultural production and floated fly-by-night agricultural programs, which he called, quote, Operation Feed the Nation, Green Revolution, School to Land, End quote. All of which failed to produce even a bag of rice. He used the opportunity to steal several hundreds of hectares of land belonging to the people of Eastern region. Thus, Obasanjo farms prospered as the people of Eastern region lost their land to this thief. But they were not done yet. In 1997, Sami Abacha, the monster, House of Fulani, enacted the military decree, quote, the National Inland Waterways Decree, number 13, 1997. By this decree, the House of Fulani, Yoruba Federal Government of Nigeria, seized and took control of all the water resources in the eastern region of Nigeria and reserved the right to issue and control licenses for inland navigation private inland waterway operation, reclamation of land, 
collection of tolls, etc., etc. They decree, declared that rivers and their tributaries, creeks, lakes, lagoons, intracoastal waterways belonged to the federal government of Nigeria. And the, the federal government, by this decree, shall have the right to all land within the right of way of all waterways and shall use such land in the interest of navigation. In the meantime, the percentage allocation to oil producing states had declined from 45% under Yakubu Gowan to 1% under Fania Bacha the Devil. With this, the program of the destruction of the people of Eastern Region, the Niger Delta Biafra, was complete. All the House of Fulani Yoruba needed was to sit back, enjoy the money they had stolen from our land, drink champagne, and wait for the people of Eastern Region to die off like poisoned flies in the desert heat. Anyone who seriously wants to address the problem in Eastern Region, Niger Delta and Biafra, has to address the following issues concretely. Nigeria is still a subsistent economy, despite all pretensions of her rulers. The people depend on subsistent farming and fishing for their survival. The people of Eastern Region Biafra, and especially those living in the riverine areas, have been stripped of their right to their land, mineral resources, and water resources by rogue House of Fulani Yoruba Ami generals and oligarchs. These Easterners are suffering incalculable hardship and tyranny at the hands of these devilish House of Fulani Yoruba oligarchs in the name of government. The people of Eastern region who are suffering all manner of deprivation, watch as these House of Lani Yoruba generals and thieves amass billions of dollars of personal fortune from the revenue generated by selling the petroleum and gas that rightly belong to the people and communities of the Eastern region and use whatever is left to develop cities and towns in northern and western Nigeria. Every rogue Nigerian government sets up useless technical committees pretending to address the problem of the Niger Delta. Our brothers and sisters in Eastern Region, you must accept the mistakes you made more than 40 years ago and face the facts of today. That is wisdom. And Tony Enahoro, accept that the House of Fulani Yoruba fooled you into giving them your motherland free. Samuel Obemudia, whose home is Ibuakere, and who changed the name of his town to Ibuanke, accept that you were foolish when you sold out your people's identity to the House of Lani Yoruba. Ike Mwachuku, accept that it was youthful stupidity that made you fight against your own blood in a war of genocide declared on your own kit and kin by the House of Lani Yoruba oligarchs and the Sokoto Caliphate. Ken Farrow, we were before he was murdered by Sami Abacha, his bosom friend, acknowledged that he made a terrible mistake, that he did a very foolish thing by attacking the Igbo and joining the House of Lani Yoruba and the Sokoto Caliphate in fighting against his own people and against Biafra. He actually asked our people for forgiveness. That is wisdom. The problem of the Niger Delta is quite simple. It is not a development problem. It is a justice problem. Give back to the people of Biafra their land, their petroleum and other mineral resources, as well as their water resources, and the problem in the Niger Delta will end. No sane person will put their lives, land, petroleum and other mineral resources, and even water resources, in blind trust to an outside agency or person over whom the beneficiary has no control and which agency or individual remains unaccountable to the beneficiary. What the House of Lani Yoruba generals and oligarchs are doing to the people of Eastern Region, 
the Niger Delta Biafra is nothing short of genocide. It is a systematic destruction of a people, their customs and traditions, their culture, their religion, their philosophy of life. To engage in systematic liquidation of 40 million people of Eastern region is genocide, and to watch with indifference as this tragedy is perpetrated is a moral sore on the conscience of the governments of the free world. The people of the Eastern region are radically different from the people of Western region and the people of Northern region. They are like oil and water. They cannot mix. The solution to the problem of Nigeria is to help the Eastern region, Biafra, separate itself from Nigeria and become an independent sovereign state. Easterners, stop splintering into tiny groups. Come together and fight for your freedom, and that will be the end of your suffering.